What's up, everyone? Uh, just making a quick update on uh, some of the things that I've been doing here to the bike. Um, got that pipe on finally. You know, it, it is what it is. Again, I don't think it's the pipe for the bike. But um, until next year, I can get a brand new one. Went out and got a nice new inch and a quarter high heat hose. And uh, straighten this pipe out a little bit. And it is definitely sitting on there nice like i said it was bent into the into the left and it was actually hitting this packed tire when it was bouncing so i'd say that's on there straight now right got new uh wrapping inside of it new rivets polished all up it's on there it's ready to function at least until i'm ready to uh get a new one um i'm done with the uh working on the coolant system um i have I'm about to put some crankcase oil in there i have the cover back on i have the clutch all hooked up so that's ready to go uh put the kickstand back on got the original bolt that's supposed to go on there all right uh got a nice new bar pad some nice new handle grips and some nice little suzuki donuts on there <laughs> right so, you know, I'm, and while I have it apart, I've just been getting some simple green and just scrubbing this baby as clean as I can get it. You know, maybe one day I'll get a chance to pull all this stuff out again and dip it and really clean it and get it, get it going good. But right now my goal is to just get this, fix everything that's on it that's broken, right? And just, I, I want it to be a high functioning 30 year old two stroke again, right? So I'm gonna ride this thing a couple times and then maybe I'll start a, a total strip down process on it. But right now my goal is to fix everything that's broken. Uh, I've been working on these, believe it or not, the, the plastics. I mean, I tried everything I can find. I've tried scraping, which did a great job because these were really white. I mean, these were so bad. Um, it looks way better than it did, you know, scraping and then sanding and then took a heat gun uh, to it. Um, made some of the shine come back up but you know in the end I think I'm just gonna get new plastics um, but until I do that I got a, a decal kit that covers just about this entire thing so I'm gonna probably cover it with this nice awesome decal kit with the plastics I have and then over the winter maybe come Christmas time or something I buy myself some brand new plastics for next spring so I'll definitely be updating this video series even more after I finish this one I might do a complete teardown. Uh, but for right now, I wanna put this thing back together in working condition and ride it a couple times. Uh, adjusted the shock. Um, again, it was, you can't really see it, got the plastics on it. It was like for an 80 pound person, right? So not only did I get it to where it's good to carry me, but I also adjusted the bottom part of it where it doesn't, it comes up nice, a little bit slower, so the bike doesn't throw me at all, right? Uh, brand new air filter. Um, you know, I've been getting some simple green in here and just trying to clean all this up as best as I can. Uh, you know, new head gasket, right? And guess what I got in the mail today? I know if you've been watching these these videos. I've been telling you that I have new radiators on their way. Well, guess what? They're here, baby. It's so easy to mess these things up. I've been putting a razor blade in there and fixing a little bit. I didn't realize that I was bending them, but it's not too bad, you know, just you never keep these things pristine. But man, nice brand new radiators. They're gonna go on right now. And uh, as soon as I make this video, maybe I'll make a follow-up video uh, with the brand new radiators on there. Again, I might, um, Touch up the frame a little bit while I have all this stuff off. You know, get some nice black spray paint on there and just clean it up a little bit more and just keep cleaning it and cleaning it um, until I get this thing looking as brand new as I possibly can. And uh, I think right now that's all I have to uh, report on. And I'm going to plop these brand new radiators on there, see what it looks like. Get the side pieces on. I, I super glue, not super glue, I uh, one of the flaps in the in the uh front here that actually hook onto those tabs 
you know, one of those is broken. Got some nice Bondo plastic bonder on there. And, um, you know, it's fixed. It's funny, I was messing with the shock and I noticed a little scratch etching, 1990. It says Duval Racing Company. I, I think they're in Jersey, I'm not sure. I don't even know why it was there, but you know, I forgot that I took this plate off in the beginning too. And if you see it, it says Duval Racing. <laughs> I have no idea why they had this bike, why this plate uh, protector's here. I'm gonna shine that all up after I get this bike back together. I'll start to, you know, take some never dull to the to the forks and maybe some of these pieces or anything else I can do to shine this stuff up. But I kind of thought that was cool. I kind of thought that maybe Duval Racing would like to know that somewhere in 1990 they had this bike. Um, nobody I knew owned it then, so I'm not even really sure why, but thought that was cool. Anyway, uh, maybe after I get the uh, radiators on there, I'll do an append to this video. I'll put it on Movie Maker before I post it. All right, we're getting a little progress. So uh, starting to look a little bit better. See you guys.